what you just heard was a recording from this SA Electronics V7X and I would like to thanks Dwayne for sending over this to me and this is a microphone which is nowadays being called as the strongest contender of SM57 and in some of the cases it is actually better than SM57. This is me Dr. Drummer and let's get started. So this microphone is basically an instrument microphone and this is a smaller sibling of SEV7 which is more focused towards vocals. Taking a closer look at this mic, the color and design can grab one's attention immediately. The bright red color peeking through the grills give this microphone a very premium look. This is a super cardioid dynamic microphone which means it does not need any kind of phantom power to run. The microphone is completely metal built and the steel mesh grills literally have no give which means this microphone is going to last for a really long time and no matter how you use it, how roughly you use it or even if you throw it on the stage or from the stage. SA Electronics also claim to have this free floating or what they call integrated shock mount which tends to reduce low rumble and vibrations from the stage or from the instruments while recording. This also eliminates mic handling noise which helps to have a very clean and crisp recording. And lastly this anti-roll thing all around this microphone helps the microphone from rolling away from you while you are setting up on the stage for the gig or for the recording. Enough of the talking, let's go to the drum kit and see how it sounds on the snare. After listening to those recordings, I must say these microphones are a lot crispier than SM57 just because it has slight upper range on the higher frequencies and it also has a little bit more of the low end. Uh, this has a very very usable tone. You can uh, do a lot of things with this and it has a lot of information I think a bit more information than the SM57. I'm not saying SM57 is bad at all but both the microphones have their different characteristics and according to me I find the tone of this microphone very usable. This also sounds a bit more natural and it has a bit flatter response than SM57 where you find a slight boost in the mids and the highs but uh, this has a bit boost in the low and, and yes you can obviously call this close to flat because uh, this does not have that much of the boost where you can call this
this microphone to be called a bit more colored this has a more of a flatter frequency response this can be used on your snares you can use this for recording your acoustic guitars and you can obviously use this to record your uh, electric guitars uh, miking this up on amp and obviously the shape of this microphone allows you to get closer to the amps and closer to uh, drums or whatever you want to record it and obviously this is more focused on the instrument that is why they have designed this microphone according to that and obviously uh, the look of this microphone is just like a cherry on the cake and actually this is like a cherry because you find a bright red color which i personally i have started liking this and the look of this when uh, sa electronics sent me this and the first time i was using this microphone the first day uh, when i set for recording and record my snares one thing grabs my attention more which is uh, the more focus on the low end and uh, this makes the drum or whatever instrument you're recording sound a lot more beefier and you'll find that uh, this microphone catches a lot of body of the tone if you understand those things so your recordings does not sound uh, shrill or thin because these captures a lot of good frequencies and obviously uh, more openness to those bottom end also opens the gate for more muddiness in your tone but obviously if you have the information in the low end you can uh, control those things in the mixing process and obviously not getting this uh, low end information will make uh, your drum sound a lot more thinner a lot more uh, bodyless whatever you want to call it so according to me having a bit of extent in the lower and the higher frequencies uh, makes this microphone a lot versatile nowadays i am also using this uh, v7x a bit more for my recordings and i find it uh, pretty usable and the tone of this microphone very usable so it completely is your choice or it is completely your call what you want to use none of the microphone are good or bad both of them has their own characteristics and have their own uses so i'll just leave this thing up to you guys you decide which you like more or which you don't like more just let me know in the comments if you guys like this microphone and you decide to buy this i will be leaving a link just in the description down below you guys can check the microphone out and you can obviously buy it from the link this is not going to cost you a single penny but yes this helps the channel grow a bit more so i think that's it for today's video and uh, I am very thankful to SE Electronics for sending over this microphone and I am really enjoying it and if you guys are watching this is a very good creation and I absolutely love what you guys have done. So catch you guys on the next video till then be safe and keep drumming.